guys welcome back to my channel this is me queens so by the way we're here in uh, the house of uh, one of our family friends uh, she's living here in Morocco for quite a long time and she's also married so we will try to Hello! Thank you! Thank you for inviting us here! Hi, my name is Leigh and I'm gonna tour you in my humble house here. I live in Al Jadida. I'm from Antipolo in Philippines but I've been living here for two years now. Before I was in uh, Casablanca for, uh, I think we were living there for, I don't know, she was 15 years? More than 15 years. More than 10 years. Okay. So, yes, uh, this is the humble house of Atile, and we will be going to her to our farm. farm. No, it's a little farm. Yes. I just want to show you how we are uh, making busy ourselves for every day. Yes. yes. So, and show. Those are the trees, uh, fruit trees. Fruit trees. And, uh, Uh, peach. Peach. Uh, I don't know how they call it here. Peach and this is uh, a lemon. 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 I have two lemons and this is my... Oh, actually, it's mandarin. Okay, <laughs> we call it in Philippines. I think it's dalandan. Dalandan. It's mandarin here. Okay. My small tree of apple. Antabis niyan. Sobrang sweet. What's the next thing? Okay. Next is we're gonna show you. This is... Uh, the, our uh, I don't know you call it poultry and the, those I have a chicken there and the mother goose I have a canard do you want to enter okay it's those are my chicken actually uh, when we started here there were just a few chicken the, the canard actually canard is the duck. the duck the duck they were just given as a gift when we started here it's I think it's like this it's like that in Morocco when you are having a starting a, your uh, your small land, they're offering you either uh, your fruits, uh, trees, plants, and us. I, me, I receive a, a goose and the and ducks. The, uh, the ducks and uh, uh, turkey. Turkey. Sorry, I'm calling them bimbe because the ah yes yes. So the what about the chicken te? The chicken, more uh, before they were just few. Like I think there were only three or four pieces, uh -huh. and then we were buying and some eggs, uh -huh. and then we we're, we're uh, giving them to. I don't know how you call it. How you call that one? They make lim lim. Okay. <laughs> they lim -lim Enable them to. They were, like, uh, they were hatch. The egg were hatch. Yes, exactly. So you're getting English. <laughs> <laughs> So they were hatching the egg and then now uh, they become uh, they like a 50, 50 pieces now. Ah. We already sold some. Of ah, them that's and, nice. Uh, I really don't like cooking them because I feel like uh, when you are taking care of of something, living things. So Just like a pet already. Yeah, for me, it's not for uh, it's not to eat, but. Um, just like a pet, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's my husband hobbies actually. It's him who wanted to, the, to have those uh, the chicken. Well, it's it's kind of uh, like I'm living in Philippines back because my, my parents before in Philippines they were also having uh, they were also having those uh, kind of chicken. Ah, that's nice. Yes, so that's why they were. Uh, I feel like I'm. I'm, I'm uh, yes, that's really nice. Next one, we go to. For the moment, we have uh, maize and some tomatoes mm -hmm. and some aubergine. Aubergine. Uh, eggplant. Yeah, eggplant. Those are my. This is uh, still young, actually. My maize were planted like uh, two months ago, I guess. That's uh, what I can. No, yes, I used to to plant. Yeah, I love planting also, but. Uh, you know, I'm so busy in the house with my house uh, chores, so I, I have some someone to to do it for me. But I'm 
planting some for me also. Like to look at my tomatoes. Yes, so it's so be, pretty. Yes, they will be ready. I think uh, next month. I think next month they will be okay. So it's must exactly. must be bare. But this is sardine in English tambay. In the Philippines, you have need of milk. Hello.
so this is Atelie and uh, thank first of all thank you so much for thank having, you too also having for us uh, here giving me a chance <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Atelie will uh, share about her story here in Morocco and being being a wife of a Moroccan uh, man mm-hmm. so she will uh, tell us about her uh, lifestyle here in Morocco being a wife and also about their family and, and so on so first Atelier can you share with us like um, being married to a Moroccan husband mm-hmm. uh, how's your life as a of course being a Filipino or being a foreigner how's your life here in Morocco uh, the I, lifestyle as well yeah I find that um, Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm pretty well uh, okay in in Morocco, living with the with the Moroccan husband and with the Moroccan Moroccan in-laws. In the beginning, yeah, you will find it so difficult to adjust with the with the family and uh, to adjust with the um, to the people around you because you cannot understand and this, uh, uh, everything when they were talking, what they were talking about when they come to Ashua, you don't know how to answer them because they, in, back 2005 they were uh, having a, a problem of uh, speaking uh, their uh, I, I cannot speak Arabic and I cannot speak French that time mm. and uh, I have only English and uh, English is uh, not uh, really their uh, their main language is because yeah, their second language is a uh, it's a uh, French. Yes. So and I have Arabic, but it's Arabic of Kaliji. I mean, in, in Dubai. In Dubai, it's we were different. living in Dubai. Yes. So it's it's different. Dubai than, and uh, in, in Dubai, everyone speak English. So it, we had a uh, uh, kind of uh, little difficulties on adjusting our uh, our self. And so, by living in in Morocco. So first, it's it's about the language. The challenge yeah. is about the language. Yes, the language is yes. just was because the here in Morocco, actually here in Morocco, the uh, dialect is uh, Darija or Moroccan Arabic, and they have an official language which is, which is uh, the official the, yes. the classical Arabic. Uh, yeah. And then the second language is French, and yeah. but by that time. English is not being uh, well known use. Yes. So luckily now it's fine. Yeah. So yeah. first is the language, second what about the culture? Yeah, the culture is uh, I don't know for me I I, I adapt what's uh, my husband already told me how to how to be in Morocco. They are uh, not uh, like uh, like uh, uh, in Dubai, in Qatar, in Saudi that they are very so strict. Strict. And here mm. they are very open. As you can see, I am not forced to wear my cover. My cover. I'm not. Uh, but you just need to 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 wear properly because this is what he he's been teaching me because. Um, uh, if you want to be respected, you have to to show that you are uh, well you deserve respected. and well re- you deserve to be respected as well. It's true. as well. Yes, that's uh, and uh, I'm not allowed only to wear some short things like that. But I them they can wear also two pieces when we go to the beach. Yes, yeah, because you are in the beach, so yeah. you can wear. There's two a piece, so. proper place for a proper yes, exactly. dress. That one. Like, yes, exactly yeah. the point. Okay, maybe for the food, I find it a little bit uh, like uh, difficult. I've been looking for my, of course, my adobo, my my uh, my ho- um, your hometown yes, food. Yes, yes, and uh, there's no there's Asian food. Uh, there's not not Asian food. There's an Asian restaurant. It's Japanese, and there's an Asian. Uh, um, store but uh, they are all Chinese uh, product and it's still uh, different it's still different yeah. like uh, you're what still we, looking for a yes, Philippine since you are a Filipina so, yes exactly so that's you're my still uh, because you know the taste and especially my bagoong I don't find it anywhere <laughs> yes. so. the salted the yes, salted, salted uh, fish uh, shrimp shrimp it's yes salted shrimp so and uh, the fruits that we have i think mostly is the the food it is the culture but now i'm loving it yeah, i exactly. love their food and i actually when i went to philippines last time i 
I miss their food. I I've been, I I stay only for two weeks and I'm still looking for their food. Because there. you're already used to it. Yes, my bismen, yes. my harsha, and yeah. I miss my couscous also. And yes, uh, Morocco. I love Rio, that. They really have a delicious couscous. Yes. Now, if I told you, you just need to adjust to their um, to their uh, to their food, to their mentality, to their culture. So be open. Be yes, open. Be open. open. Just yeah. accept that. In any way, yes. we are visitor. We are in their country, so you cannot. Uh, it's not the country who will adjust for you. Exactly. <laughs> it's you, of course. Yeah, it's you. For sure. yeah, yes, it's, uh, because so it's the same thing. My husband went to Philippines, and uh, he is not looking for uh, his food. I keep giving him. Uh, I went to the French bakery just to buy buy him the bread the, and cross. Mm-hmm. Son, that he is the baguette. Yeah, the baguette. This is what he, he wanted for breakfast. But still, he eat pangisal. Yes, the yeah. yes, exactly. That's the point, at it Because you know, if um, we're in, exactly yeah. like in a foreign land, it it's not the place who will adjust us. Yeah, it's exactly. uh, common sense. It's it's yes, us. Yes, it's, it's us true. because yeah, because uh, you're on that place, so we have to adapt what they they really have. What about your your relationship with your in laws? The, the side of your husband, how, how is it? I can say that in the beginning, yes, we are having like a sort of uh, problem. Mm-hmm. I, this is just because of the language that maybe the I don't barrier. understand what he, she is saying and what, what they are saying and what they are asking. And then when I don't, when I don't talk, when I don't uh, like uh, join them because I, I didn't understand. Exactly. So I yeah, stay in true. my room and they find it like uh, I'm, I'm not so socialized. Uh, why this? Why that? But yes. now, nako, believe me, I am. Uh, we're always uh, chatting, chatting each other. Yeah. Yes. It's even true. their secrets are just gone. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's true because you know, like uh, I'm very close to my in-laws, brothers and sister. And uh, some cousin, and uh, I think I feel I am the closest uh, uh, daughter-in-law. Ah, yeah, that's yes. nice. Yeah. My pa- the favorite one, I guess. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're so yes, lucky. Yes, yes. Yeah, because you know, at it's a, it's a matter of like, especially if if you have a language barrier. Of course, it's it's quite a challenging part to to mm. open up. So, if if ever you can understand each other so it's easy it's yeah. easy to reach out it's exactly. easy to talk about like okay what are if there's some issues so it's easy to settle down so yeah. good thing that you were able to you have to try you have to try your best exactly. uh, be, no not only trying but you have to want it also Yes, you have to want them to, already... to, to be with them. You want to be belong to them. You love your husband. You should love the family you're too. You're not only being married with your husband, but you're being married with the whole family. The whole family because it's well. a package. Yeah. So exactly. it's a package. That's... You're not only married to one person, but you're also married, being married to the entire family. Yes, I'm not only getting married with... I, I, I didn't get married also with uh, only my husband. With the family and also to the country. Ex- yes, absolutely. Mm, that's yeah. really amazing. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Like, uh, of course, uh, since you're already here in uh, Morocco, of course, uh, you will. You need to embrace because this is mm, not. Yes. Philipp- it's my second home. Too. Exactly. So, not Phil- Of course, Philippines. You were born no, no. and raised. So yeah. Yes. Of course. As no one can, one. no one can replace, replace that. that. But of course, you're already married here, so this is your family already, your current family. Yes. So of course, this is also your second home, My so second you have home. to embrace. So, so about uh, being married to your uh, loving husband. So, how does it start? It, it, it started when we were in Dubai. We, mm-hmm. were, we, will, we were both working there. Then I, I met him through friends and friends yes. then there is a, I'm, I'm actually seeing him with uh, dating with somebody else and but I, I it, it didn't come in my mind that we're gonna be together mm. that time because like seeing him like playing around not more not playing around because he's kind of too serious guy also because he's a workaholic guy mm. but uh, I, I I don't see myself before getting married with him I didn't I didn't expect that actually that time I haven't met met a lot of of uh, some friends also but uh, it between us it's really just happened you know he he didn't even court he didn't 
didn't ask for for me and uh, no i love you nothing nothing so and then we start just like uh, going out between friends and then one day we were just going out between friends then then it happened that i i I go home with him. Not, not I go home with him because uh, the friends are still enjoying and me I'm kind of like uh, feel busy and uh, like uh, I I happy I'm, I'm out maybe I, I drink a lot that time. So uh, I, I I went home with him and then we go to the house and that's it. That house it was a shared flat uh, like a flat apartment in mm. Dubai and we were uh, like maybe maybe I don't know how many people who were living inside and and voila because my friend are, the, the, our friend are still in the in the in the disco so we just be alone in the house and, You're having your and moment. that's it we had our moment maybe God give us that moment <laughs> to be each other <laughs> to be each other and it started like that and the next day just keep asking what to do what to do so then the next day to so that's, that's the big yeah, that's, so. that's it's very romantic right <laughs> You it's, know, yeah. uh, the best thing, uh, the best thing that will happen in life is those that moment when you didn't expect. Like, I really didn't yeah, expect the, you that know, one. it's it's really uh, an amazing moment when everything is unexpected. Yeah, you're seeing him for a month, and after you didn't even know that he gonna be your uh, husband forever. So yes, you see, there's there's <laughs> a forever. <laughs> and there's a forever. Yeah, so that's it. So after that, you're no. He, uh, we, he, we decided actually. We decided to move together for our privacy because we were in the shared uh, uh, apartment. Flat. So mm -hmm. we live uh, alone together for about a year, and then we decided to get married mm -hmm. and. Uh, go to Philippines it happened that I get pregnant before getting married so it was like urgent the decision to to get married to was down. to settle down was in October in my birthday and then mm. and then it uh, we, 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 it, it get advanced mm. so we move uh, uh, no I go to Philippines and then I wait for him there he stay for four months and mm. go back because I'm pregnant and he come back and get married mm. before he broke into my life so, actually. So, uh, so since you are being married so you we get married in Philippines, Philippines and, and then and decide then we get married also so in, in Morocco, Morocco. Yeah. so of course since your husband is American and it's uh, convenient for the two of you to be here and settle down in Morocco so yes they are here happily married with their kids and okay, yeah. Yeah, thanks God, and uh, of course it's a very inspiring story with Atili. And also before we end up at it, so how can, uh, what advice can you give to our viewers like mm -hmm. who wish to to settle down in Morocco or if uh, they have a in relationship with a Moroccan man or American mm -hmm. woman or. Not only that interrelationship, but what about settling down here but, or working? What uh, since also you have a direct contact with your in-laws yeah. or your yeah, family, your second family, American family. So, what can you advise with a foreigner like us? How can you, uh, how can you recommend Morocco or tell us how how was it? Okay, first. Thing is, you just need to to to. Uh, I I I feel is uh, the respect uh, exactly. respect their uh, respect their uh, culture exactly uh, their the, beliefs their beliefs their religion mm. and uh, I can I can say that there's no so uh, I mean if there's a bad or negative people. Not only in Morocco, this not only Arabs, not only the Islam. I think, I mean, it can happen also in Philippines if you yes. get uh, busted to to other, uh, I mean, country to yes. other places. That's not because ah, ah I was in uh, no this one. I was in there and then uh, I get had uh, I get stolen like that. No, that's that's, yeah. that's not the country. It's mm -hmm. it's that's not the religion. That's yeah. uh, that's the people itself. 
Yes, it's, exactly. It's all depend. And Moroccan they are very they're very socialized and very generous people. So yeah, generous. Kind of the term, words. <laughs> they're very generous. Exactly, generous. Yes. And, and uh, they're yes. so kind as well. Yes, yes, and they're very thoughtful and. Yes. Uh, the people of Morocco they're really amazing yeah and just like in Philippines as well so I can't say that uh, no the Moroccan is here and the Arab is here and the Arab uh, yeah. no. and the good thing about here is like yes what Atile is always saying like it's it's a matter of respect everything yes. is a uh, respect and also adjust yourself to yes exactly uh, it, it's not like what we she always say like it's, it's not the country who need to adjust but it's just us, yes, it's us so also. like uh, being a foreigner like since we are here in a, in this place like their place so it's us who needs to to learn mm. to to learn to embrace and you will really learn a lot from them exactly yeah. and you know when you learn it's a it's a good thing to learn new stuff and it's yeah, a, yeah. it's it's very fun it's very fun and and uh, Morocco as well is there's a lot of story to tell a lot of things to discover so like um, like for you our beloved viewers like we are really inviting you if uh, given a chance like uh, please you are very welcome actually the Moroccan people they are very hospitable yes they exactly. are really kind they are really thoughtful if you really know them but of course we cannot say like a hundred percent because not only not in morocco them, yeah. yeah not only in morocco but anywhere in the world yeah. you we will always see some uh, not that nice people but of course in general if you will meet uh, the right person everything would be magical and memorable yes and if you wanted to you decided to come and see and visit morocco just contact <laughs> just, <laughs> you, <Ms>. Kun. <laughs> just yeah. contact. you can contact me and then i will tell you okay <laughs> <laughs> yes so anyway thank you so much for having us here mm, thank you so much too and of course me i don't know why <laughs> because you're very you have really a uh, very inspiring story and, and thank you of course uh, a lot of our viewers will be happy to know about it and of course it might as well help them exactly yes. so like us we are just here to share our story since we are here in morocco we live here we work here we, we this is already our second home so that's why yes. we are we love to share what we have here so i hope we inspire you and you enjoy our yeah. story and another thing those are the ladies who are in the who are having a relation right now with the moroccan and uh, finding like a like kind of difficult or having some sort of problem and uh, look it takes me how long how many years exactly. to to adapt and adjust and uh, accept the fact that uh, that uh, ah, no, they are like that and this is the way they think it's like that this mm -hmm. is, they think it's good and it's better for you mm -hmm. if you find them they're very strict that's all for you that's not for him because mm -hmm. the mindset of the the, 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 the moroccan here it, it's not like us in philippines that they're very open yes they're open but the, because they have their their, their nationality either they have their uh, religion Belie and mm -hmm. they have their beliefs that uh, if they they're ki keep keeping you in your in the house and that letting you go out i i been locked also in my room for two years not totally luck you don't let me go out because just being protective protective because yes. you, you cannot uh, if you get lost you cannot talk to them you cannot yes. you cannot understand yes. and you we might find the bad people that's yes that five percent of bad people you might find one of them so exactly. so it's just taking care of um, yes. i mean your um, safety it's, yes it's for your own safety. exactly actually uh the the best thing we need to to consider is just let's just uh look it into a brighter side so yes. maybe there because of course you're if, already yeah. part of the family if so. you see me right now and being okay in morocco I'd look it took me 17 years exactly <laughs> yes yeah. so yeah just um look at atelier so yeah. you know it's it, it's just think about the brighter side patient. be patient and of course don't don't be so sensitive enough because not yes. it, it's not only it's not only like as American or what nationality, 
but yeah. it's everywhere like if you're being part of the family and th- knowing the fact that you're a foreigner of yeah. course yeah, they already protected you they're worried because they know that people and they have yes, experience it's, it's, so they know what's yes. what there's around and we're outside. not living in a perfect world yeah exactly. we're not living in a perfect world so probably yeah. we never know we can we can we're not sure we can uh, meet a right or kind person outside so for them it's better to be in the house to be safe so but i can tell you too i'm sorry you know i'm taking over your blog <laughs> but i can tell you also it's very safe It's mm. not too dangerous. Exactly. You can bruise, go out and explore outside. You have too much foreigner. Yes, you will find some uh, uh, but uh, believe me, 95% of the people here are safe. We've been going out also. Like, they yes. can go home also three yes. or four o'clock. But uh, with my husband, huh? yes. <laughs> not alone. Oh, but it's no, very safe. Yes, you can buy that, that, outside. It, people are even helping you if they did. You, you're lost. You're lost. Yes. Is it? And also, at the like. Since you're, oh, you you will see the difference because Atila is working in Dubai, yeah, and she knows exactly the difference between Morocco yeah, exactly. and Dubai because they are both Muslim country. Yes, and and Morocco yes. and Morocco is more safety here, more safety and uh, open and the uh, open yes. Like what they say, Morocco is the paradise, yeah. <laughs> the paradise of all. I the... think it's been written also that in the ten ten most uh, safe. Yes, country. Mm. One of them is Morocco. I can just search it somewhere. I say yes. I know. Yes. Yeah, so that's it. So I hope you will consider Morocco and please uh, don't feel uh, uh, there's no doubt about uh, visiting Morocco because yeah. uh, because some people like uh, commonly like the the first impression of others. They will say, ah, uh, it's a bit scary because you know mm. it's a Muslim country yeah, and so on. But yeah, yeah. no, please don't uh, consider about being like that because you know how would you know if it's uh, if it's uh, amazing if you will not try. And of course, just be open because Morocco, Morocco is very amazing place and the people are very kind. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I hope you will um, uh, follow us through to our next vlog and please don't Channel. forget to uh, like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. Bye! Bye. <laughs>